Here we are at part 31 of my video walkthrough for The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And we have just defeated the Iron Knuckle underneath one of the Icona Graveyard Graves. Hmm. What's going on, man? Oh, it seems to have uh, freed some kind of Poe. And his name is Flat. Hmm. Oh no, that's not very good. You who do not fear the dead. A thousand year of raindrops sown by the song is his tears, and the thunder that strikes the earth is his anger. Well, alright. Guess we can uh, check this out here. Yeah, yeah, we went over that already. <laughs> oh, look, it's a song that'll cleanse his cursed black soul. All right. Oh, hey, it's the Song of Storms. A down, up, A down, up. All right. We remembered the Song of Storms. <laughs> well, I guess that's a pretty good prize for our efforts here. Alright, time to continue moving on. i got plenty of stuff to do. Good old Song of Storm. going to be warping around a lot this go-around. Alright, let's head back to the Mountain Village. Now that i got that Iron Knuckle taken care of... Um... We can head over here to the blacksmith shop. It's in Mountain Village. Hey, buddy. Well, over to you too. What's wrong with my sword? Oh, we can reforge it. All right, but I'll have to hold on to it till sunrise. Wow. This is why I wanted to do this after fighting the Iron Knuckle. Sure, hundred rupees is no problem. Alright, and well, now we don't have a sword anymore. But when we come back in the morning, it'll be stronger! Which, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save. Seems like a good time to do so. <laughs> come on, Link, hurry up! Alright. Off to our next destination. Now that i got a little free time on my hands, um, let's go ahead and head back to Snowhead and take care of uh, dropping off these fairies. So I hadn't done that just yet. I think I almost forgot about it. <laughs> In one of my practice recordings, I, I like completely forgot about it. Whee! But over here at the base of Snowhead Temple's little cave. And here's the great fairy font pond. Alright. Hmm, the green-haired fairy. Oh, wise young one, I am the great fairy of wisdom. All right. What kind of present do you have for me? Ooh, enhanced magic power. Wow, that's some powerful stuff to pick a gore on up like that. <laughs> All right, we got twice the magic meter. Sure thing. All right, off to our next destination. And we're heading back to Mountain Village. Guess I clip my warp a little early there. <laughs> mm. 
But since we went through the trouble of opening up the Goron racetrack, and I got a little extra time, let's uh, go ahead and do this. Let's see what kind of fun, exciting stuff is up here. Whoa, don't roll yourself off the cliff there. So, what's going on? Uh, everyone's restless because they can't wait to enter. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? See, all right. All right, it's a Goron race. This is actually kind of hard. <laughs> Woo, here we go. Now we do go a little bit faster than these guys, but for whatever reason, one of them will always stay caught up with us. And uh, you gotta be careful because when they run into you, they like kind of damage you. Like, not really, but they can knock you out of your role, so. Try to cut corners, stay close to the edges, and avoid those ramps because it just wastes your time. And here's the forest. I usually end up hitting a tree somewhere in here. Ooh, alright! Get some magic back. Um, that's doubly handy because if you keep stealing all the magic pots, they won't get any magic either, <laughs> which will slow them down. And here's the bridge. Oh, he just ran off the bridge. But then another one immediately takes his place. So. And around this corner here is the crucial point. We have to hit these magic pots or else that guy will beat you because he runs out of magic if you steal his pots from him. So, come on. Ooh, all right. Ganked him. Woohoo! Still a close race. All right. And as a reward, we get gold dust. Huh. Well, I'm sure that'll come in handy sometime. All right, moving on. Where's our next spot that we're going to? How about Clock Town? Now remember, we have uh, stuff to do at midnight and 2 o'clock, so... At uh, midnight, we gotta go talk to the innkeeper so we can work on the Kifi chain of uh, quests there. And at 2 o'clock, we promised the ranch keeper that we would help her in her delusional fantasy of fending off the uh, aliens. <laughs> But, yes, unfortunately, we need to go get another moon tier. Ugh. I hate going all the way down here for the moon tier, but, eh, what can you do? Other than throw the bunny hood on and hurry up. <laughs> and while we're down here, we might as well uh, swing by our little secret chamber over here and pick up our hundred rupees. Oops, I was a little close to that one. <laughs> Yay, free money. And this would be another handy time for some fast forward action if I had it. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Let's do our little hoppy thing. Stupid spider getting in my way. Whee! And we gotta pop the balloon too. Pretty fireworks. Alright. And just to get some different dialogue, I'm gonna go ahead now. Talk to him as Link instead of the Deku scrub. <laughs> but, yeah. We've already seen this particular little scene, so. Let's just uh, skip past all of it. Head outside here and grab the Moon's Tear for like the third time. <laughs> 